Hey guys, I am here with World of View, um, a game that I haven't played before. Um, just, you know, doing a quick commentary for the hell of it. And uh, the first thing I notice is that there are no options. Credits, you know, profiles, and then you could quit in this mission selection area over here, I guess. But, um, there is no way for me to uh, save options or do things like change my screen resolution or lower the volume. So, um, I, I, uh, let's just kick things off here and, you know, go where the arrow wants me to go, which is summer, apparently. And, um, if I haven't mentioned it, I, I've never played this game before, and you're going to hear my opinions and thoughts as they come in to my mind. And, uh, I guess this is one of those games where you have to teach yourself how to play. Alright. Drag and drop, build to... Alright. Build to the pipe. Okay. Um. What? Yippee. Indeed. Okay, it's leaning high. Well. That's interesting. I would make a terrible architect. Um, World of Goo Corporation. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Um, I should have maybe perhaps read the backstory to this game because I think it's kind of. I don't know what to think so far. It's definitely unique. That's for sure. These little voices that, uh... Blobs of goo have are a little, uh... Concerning. Because I'm making, uh... I don't know, platforms and... Other forms of... Whoa! And other methods of, uh... What's the word? You know, out of living things, apparently, so... I, I, I should just tell you right now, also, that it is 5 a.m., and I'm tired. But, you know, maybe that's a good thing, because... I... If I was in a normal state of consciousness, and logic was, you know, active in my brain, then maybe I wouldn't be able to appreciate this game as much as I do right now. Because, I mean, it's unique, it's cool, and hopefully it's short, because I like short, casual games that are relatively cheap. Because I have the attention span of an 8-year-old and cannot play a game life like Half-Life 2. I can't complete it for, you know, at least six months. Hmm. Alright. Snowy. Uh undisturbed for thousands of years. It sure does, because it's snowing inside, which totally makes it a cave. Um, maybe that's not snow. Um, when the pipe broke through the ceiling above the sun, they must have blinded these rare albino goo balls. Uh, they didn't seem to notice when it game snow. Alright, that makes sense, I guess. Maybe they would wake up if they just said something to jump onto. Right, the sign painter. Alright, so let's go up here. So I'm trying to get them into the pipe. These into the pipe. So I just need to build kind of like a scaffolding thing. That's cool. I'll do this real fast. Oh, oh you're awake. Arr. And just keep going, you know. Oh, da -da. Nope. I'm sure this must be incredibly boring, but, um, you're the one that chose to click on the video, and it's your own fault, so, if you complain, you can go screw yourself. And then, you know, complain a bit more in the comments. Uh, why am I going all the way down here? They're right there. Alright. This seems a bit inhumane. We're harvesting these live goo balls 
for, uh, I guess, a corporation that probably doesn't have very many, uh, or very good health benefits to its workers, which I'm one of. Alright. Is this, like, after a nuclear fallout? Like, that would make sense. I mean, in my head it makes sense. I don't know. I mean, just crazy shit happens with, uh, nuclear contamination, is that the term? Anyway, that looks cool. Oh, finally, the backstory, I think. Oh, well, that was a pretty good backstory. Um, oh. Okay. Uh... So, how long is this thing? Well, this world, I guess, is fairly short. I'll just go back in time, kind of like Braid, I guess. Let's read the nice sign. Um, the group balls were excited to explore this mysterious pipe system. Even if it meant traversing ridiculously contrived terrain. Really, they could have just said rough ground. Um, one of the goo balls seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Okay, uh, armadillo, armadilli, is that the term? Um, I. Did they even make sounds? And the sign painter, right. Why doesn't the sign painter just, you know, do what he fucking writes on his signs instead of just telling me what to do? Anyway. Um. I'm trying to think of what games this is a combination of. I mean, it's obviously kind of a puzzle game, but it's got worlds, and you can go back in time apparently, so I guess it's kind of like Braid, which I have very little playtime with. I mean, I have it, but I'm just lazy. Alright, five meters to... Don't fall over. Here, I'll... Add an anchor point. Or... Make... It heavy. That probably won't work. Oh. Maybe it will. Keep going, you can do it. I'm assuming that if... Yep. Alright. So they die if you touch the spinny... Cogwheel things. Would... I mean, that's kind of obvious, but... Just in case you didn't know, don't fucking... Alright. Come on. Stupid goo balls. And that... Mm, keeps moving, which is making it a lot harder. And I'm getting pissed. What? I can't read that. Back in time by one move. Right, a time bug. Alright. It's one of those guys. But I don't need to yet because I... <sighs> oh. Oh. Yay. I think I got something. Don't. <sighs> Keep dragging them into the, uh, the deadly <coughs> wheels. Gears. Alright, you got it. You can do this, guys. Just wake those guys up and... Yep. Proud of you. This game's fun. I mean... First impression is quite fun. Anyway, um... And that should be the last move. Look at that. That is a magnificent piece of engineering. Wow. I mean... Jeez, look at those Y-joints, V-joints. I, that's not a real term, alright. 